video, well, let me just give you a bit of background for this video. I'm doing this video, number one, to hopefully, obviously, inspire some of you with some ideas and things for things that you can make for friends and loved ones or for donation, obviously, but also as a little bit of a kick up the backside to myself because I'm telling everyone <laughs> that these are what I'm hoping to make and because I've told everyone, I'm really hoping that I will just crack on and get things done because I have all of these ideas. I don't know whether it's just me, but I have all the ideas and I'm really enthusiastic and then bang, it just fizzles out and I never actually get as much done as I initially hoped. So I'm sharing all of the things that I am going to make this year for my Christmas presents. So we're going to start with this absolutely beautiful, soft and shiny line of Shapey's Chunky Monkey Anti-Pilling Yarn. Now each of these balls will become a hat. So much like this rainbow one that I made for my daughter recently, pom-pom hat, I'm going to be making four of these in an adult size. And each of these hats has got a corresponding pom-pom if you like. So the pink is going to have this beautiful beige pom-pom. The paler blue is going to have this gorgeous blue and black pom-pom. That's going to go on that one. The mustard colour is going to have the black pom-pom. And then finally, this deep sort of jade grey, uh, green, sorry, is going to have the grey and black pom-pom. So they are all of my colours with their assigned pom-poms. So they are hopefully going to be four absolutely beautiful soft hats. I don't know yet whether they're all going to be the same with the, the ridged or whether I'm going to just experiment and do something a little bit different but there are going to be four beautiful hats so that is number one or one to four. <laughs> I am also going to be making a hat with my Chiffon's Crafts collaboration yarn, so the supernova yarn and corresponding pom-pom. I will be making that into a hat as well. So that is it for hats. I'm also going to be making some sets of these gorgeous cotton Christmas coasters. So these are obviously a tutorial on my channel already and all of the information that you need throughout this video, links for yarn, colours, pattern links, all of that will be in the description box so make sure that you click that little drop down arrow at the bottom. So these are very simple but very beautiful little crochet coasters so they're equally beautiful front and back and obviously you can use any yarn and things that you like for these but I just use some plain red and white cotton yarn and they're really beautiful and I think that's stacked up and wrapped with little bows and ribbons. These are going to make really gorgeous little gifts for people. So I'm thinking obviously of having four in a set. So I think that they'll be really, really nice. To go along with this perfectly themed craft bag, we are go I am going to be making, using the two yarns that are in here, as you've probably guessed, I'm going to be making a Harry Potter inspired item. And so a, what, a couple of years ago, I made a Harry Potter house scarf and posted on Instagram and things. And lots of people wanted a tutorial. Now it's a super, super basic, easy pattern. And that tutorial will be coming very, very soon. And again, I will leave the links for these particular Gryffindor inspired colors. And that will be on my channel soon and hopefully as a well received gift. So we've got the Harry Potter scarf. And then finally we have got, let me just turn this around the right way. This is a scarf or shawl that I started working on last night and it is absolutely beautiful. 
and I'm just hoping you can see all of the detail. You've got texture in there, you've got shell stitches and post stitches and all kinds of things and then a beautiful border on the bottom as well and this is called the Shellscape Shawl and it is a paid pattern which you can find on Ravelry and I will of course leave a link to it down in the description box and it is by a designer on Instagram and Ravelry called Lisa's Attic or Lisa Cook I think it is on Ravelry so you can find that in the description box so it's absolutely beautiful so it's a long rectangular scarf and obviously I only started this yesterday so I haven't got particularly far on it yet but it's it's really long as you can see so <laughs> it's going to be gorgeous and for this I'm using again one of my faves the Shapies Whirl and this one is shade it's called Dandelion Munchies so it goes from the yellow white grey to the black so I think that's going to look amazing once that is finished and I think that is it that is yeah that's what I've given myself to do ready for this Christmas I really hope that you've had a little bit of inspiration but also actually I've forgotten one thing and that's because I haven't got any in front of me but if you remember last year I did lots of Christmas baubles so I'll pop a little photo on the screen now but I will be making little gift sets of those as well so four of those baubles in a, in a nice little presentation box or something and I think they're going to look really nice and again there is a tutorial on my channel for that for those and you'll be able to watch that and make your own and I have saw some really beautiful colour combinations of that bauble pattern last year so I really look forward to seeing some new ones this year but that is it they are all my projects and I think that that is more than enough to be getting on with at the moment so yeah out of all those projects how many do you think I'm actually going to get done? Do you think it'll be one or do you think I'll actually get through them all? And also obviously let me know down in the description, in, not in the description, let me know in the comments whether you're making any Christmas projects this year and if you are let me know what you're making, which tutorials and things you're going to be using from my channel and yeah let me know what you make it's always really nice for me to know what people make from my tutorials so do let me know or tag me on Instagram as well but that is it just a super quick video to say what I'm aiming to make for my Christmas presents this year and wish me luck because yeah whether I do them or not will be a different matter I'll definitely finish this one but as for the rest, we'll see. Bye for now.